Commanders, this is Brightwood from Oracle Station with a crew analysis of Chakotay for Star Trek Fleet Command. Chakotay joined us in-game during the July 2023 arc Voyager Part 3. This Marquis Resistance fighter, now Starfleet officer, brings what appears to be some very nice abilities to the game. So let's take a look at Chakotay. Chakotay is an epic officer. He is a member of the Voyager group. His faction is Federation and his officer division is Command. Chakotay receives full synergy bonus from all Voyager officers, regardless of class, very much like Picard and Genwi. I really like this new synergy model that started in the game with Picard, receiving full synergy from any TNG officer. And I really like that Jan Janeway and now Chakotay do the same. This seems to fit the epicness of these officers. Chakotay's captain ability is visionary. This increases the number of shots of your ship's weapons by 40% versus armadas. With full synergy from both side seats, Jakote gets an impressive 100% increase to shots from this synergy at T1. Now, this does seem epic considering the possibilities with his captain's ability, especially on solo armadas and the crew options we have today. Chakotay's captain's ability makes it hard to not want to use Chakotay on at least your solo armadas, or any armada for that matter, where you don't need to focus on loot. What crew combinations come to your mind that you would want to leverage this captain's ability? Share in our comments below or join us in Discord and share your thoughts on Chakotay there. His officer ability is Marquee Strike. This increases the critical hit chance of our ship by 8% for two rounds each time you score a hit versus an armada. This goes up to 30% at commander. This is definitely not bad for a starting point. The verbiage on this officer ability does not say it is cumulative over two rounds, but the battle logs show it's activating after each unique weapon around, so it appears that it does. At T1, this ability starts out better than your con, and based on these charts, if his officer ability is actually cumulative, Chicote will dethrone Khan from the de facto Armada crew with 5 and 6 of 11. Again, through the battle log and through testing, this does appear to stack over the two rounds, and only for each unique weapon hit. This is based on the battle log review and observation of the combination of crits for every weapons fire in solo armadas. Chakotay is, however, 100% locked down to armadas, so you won't see any benefit using him outside of armadas unless you're going for synergy boosts with someone like Janeway. He does work on all armadas though, so that means you can use him on your Federation, Klingon and Rom Romulan armadas or FKR armadas, Exchange, Cardassian, Borg solo, Expansion cubes, and Dominion solo armadas. Chakotay's traits are Advisor, Dedicated, and Empathic. There are 10 total ATAs that Chakotay has traits for. They break down as follows. There are two ATAs that require the advisor trait, Arbiter of Succession and Mikbah Judiciary. There are six that need the dedicated trait. One of them scales by your operations level. Address the High Council, Emergency Evacuation, this one is the one that scales, Observing Colinar, Peacekeeping Initiative for Morio Shards, Peacekeeping Initiative for Ahura Shards, and Rustai Ceremony. And finally, there are two ATAs that use the Empathic trait, Double Agent Interrogation and Form Trade Agreement. Unfortunately, none of these overlap traits, with Chakotay being an epic officer and has more of a niche for his armadas, it's surprising he is lacking here. However, 
We most likely won't be sending him off on ATAs anytime soon anyways, so his lack of ATA support is not very significant. I would rate his ATA value as low. Single trait boost for all ATAs is not something that I would be enticed to be without his officer abilities for even a 24 hour window. There are definitely some positives that stand out for Chicote. For example, his captain's ability really is amazing. And to follow that, his officer ability is also amazing and outperforms Khan. He's got synergy at full strength from any Voyager officer, and he really is very effective at unlock. The downside with Chakotay is that he only works on armadas, and we really don't have a very good path to source his shards without having to do events or buying packs. And his ATA support is kind of poor, but I'm not sure I would really give this as a full negative to Chicote. Again, both of Chicote's captain's abilities and his officer abilities stand out at unlock and will be of value to commanders. There are plenty of armadas to use him against, and with events, you will be using him a lot often, offsetting his lack of diversity. There are several variables that go into how well crew will perform research, ship type, and crew levels. Some of these suggestions may not work for you. The intent is to get you thinking of how you could incorporate the crew into your builds. We have a lot of helpful people on our Discord that would be happy to help you further your crew performance and answer any of your crew questions. Click on the Discord link in the description of this video and come join in on or start a conversation with us in our Discord. Thinking about all of Chakotay's abilities, and it's very obvious where we're going to be able to use him in the game. He is limited by his captain's and officer's abilities specifically to armadas. So let's take a look at the ways we can take advantage of him in various armada types. There is a de facto well-known armada setup that most of us are using if we have the officers. This base armada crew will be our foundation for using Chicote. This base crew is 5 of 11 as captain, 6 of 11, and then con. Digging into this officer build, 5 of 11 officer ability is weaponry is irrelevant. 5 of 11 will increase the shield, deflection, armor, and dodge by 200% of the total health of all the officers on the ship. Her officer ability is going to increase the amount of loot that we get and it goes up higher with her uh, crew level. 6 of 11's officer ability is defenses are irrelevant. When attacking an armada target, every time the ship hits the opponent with a weapon attack, 6 of 11 is going to increase the accuracy, armor piercing, and shield piercing of the ship by 5% of the total of attack of all officers on the ship. And this is going to go up to a really nice 40% when he's at Commander. His synergy is also going to boost 5 of 11's mitigation. So this is a very nice combo. Then we have Khan and his Savage Tenacity. Every time the ship is hit by a ship or weapons platform, Khan increases the critical hit chances by 1% at Ensign up to 5% at Commander. And this is cumulative, so it's gonna to continue to grow over time in the battle. With Chakotay's officer ability giving us a percent boost to critical chance for each of our weapons for two rounds, he is a great alternative for Khan in our base Armada crew setup. This will work for any Armada you run, but will most likely be your go-to setup from here on out with these group armadas that allow you to send only a single ship, especially if you're focused on getting the maximum amount of loot from your armada. But what about those commanders who no longer are focused on the loot drops? For example, maybe you've finished your outlaw research tree, or you're running solo armadas requiring you to crew up three ships. 
there are a few alternative options we can run with Chicote. More shots the merrier. With this Armada crew setup, we will be focused on maximizing crew that increase the number of shots we can deliver. The downside to this build is we will lose synergy, dropping Chicote's percent shot increase. But does that really matter? We'll put Chicote in the captain's seat. He will give us his captain's ability, increasing the number of shots by a percent. His officer ability will give us the critical chance increase per weapon from our ship. Next, in the side seat, we'll put the doctor. His officer ability over my dead program, when you take hull damage for a non-player hostile or armada, the doctor will increase our armor, shield deflection, and dodge by 300% of our health. For two rounds and this is cumulative and then in our other side seat we're going to put miles o'brien who has luck of the irish for three rounds miles o'brien has a 25 percent chance of increasing shots against an armada by 100 percent even though we lose our synergy with one of our side seats for chicote we're actually gaining an officer that's going to give us multiple shots and we're still retaining our mitigation with the doctor this is a really nice build and works very well on armadas like exchange where you may not be interested in the loot that's dropped. Instead, you are really focused on the best performance against the armada. Synergistic critical isolate damage. This armada setup still gets you the doctor's mitigation, but instead of more shots because we're going to drop Miles O'Brien, we're going to go ahead and boost our isolytic damage, or add it if we don't have an artifact, to every shot that we take. This grants Chakotay 100% synergy with the full Voyager crew on the bridge, and this is a great complement to your 5, 6, and con build in solo armadas, giving you more shots, criticals, and unmitigated damage to your targets. So we're going to keep Chakotay in the captain's seat, or increase in shots, and we're also going to still get his increase in critical chance from our weapons on our ship. We still have the doctor here who's going to continue to offer his mitigation ability. But now, instead of O'Brien, we're going to put Catherine Janeway in the other side seat. Her ability is bend the rules. And at the start of combat, Catherine Janeway is going to increase your isolytic damage by 10% against non-player hostiles and armadas. As you can see with Janeway, she's going to generate 10% isolytic damage against your armada. This follows the rules of isolytic damage and since armadas currently do not have mitigation for isolytic damage this goes right against the hull of the armada. Chicote plays it safe. Why is this playing it safe? Because you get all three components of combat in a single crew. This build is a great option for solo armadas. It gives you the shot increase and critical boost from Chicote the mitigation from the doctor and then we're going to remove Janeway and we're going to put Belana Torres in place to improve our piercing performance. Again we know what Chakotay's captain's ability is going to do for us. It's going to increase our number of shots and his officer ability is going to increase our critical chance. The doctor still provides our mitigation but Belana Torres is going to bring her officer ability me against the galaxy. When you take damage from a non-player, hostile, or armada, Belana increases your armor piercing, shield piercing, and accuracy by 250% of attack for one round. And this is cumulative. So every unique weapon you get hit with during that round, she's going to increase the accuracy, shield piercing, and armor piercing by that 250%. And this is going to go up with her officer level. So with adding Belana to the crew, we're improving our bypass for the target's mitigation in our build. This build also feels more rounded out for solo armadas. So it really looks like Chicote is pretty amazing. 
So how are we going to obtain Chakotay shards? Well, there is no known sourcing path outside of the current events and the event stores for Chakotay at this time. So if you're interested in them, you will need to keep an eye on events, store packs, and watch for them to be in crew special battle passes between arcs or the mega crew recruit, recruit events. Chakotay really looks to be an impressive officer. We will get tremendous use out of him rounding out the Voyager group, making it not only a great hostile grinding group, but also an outstanding armada group as well. The pros around Chakotay again are he's very useful at unlock, he gets full synergy from Voyager group, his officer ability appears to stack, and he's versatile as both a captain and a officer side chair. Some downsides or disadvantages of Chakotay is he's really is only going to work for us on our armadas. He's got a low ATA value and there is no established sourcing. Again, Chicote has really rounded out the Voyager group, and it'll be interesting to see what we'll get with Voyager Part 4 arc, which I'm anticipating because we haven't had an event store for Part 3. Chicote establishes his Armada dominance, as he should since this is the only activity you can really use him for. Check out our website for more videos and join us in Discord using the link in the video description to continue the discussion and get access to more resources. We hope you found the video informative and helpful. If so, please give us a thumbs up and share. We look forward to your comments and suggestions. Live long and prosper, Commander. This is Brightwood from Oracle Station signing off.